Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight. Let's talk tail wheels. Now the T-51D Mustang is of course a tail wheel aircraft. And one of the cool things is the entire tail wheel assembly that you see here comes complete from Titan Aircraft. What we do need to do is build its enclosure. So the first step of building its enclosure is to take the and get that entire structure put into place in terms of the top and forward and aft sides of the enclosure. We don't have the skins on the tail yet, but those will form the left and right. And then later on in the project, we'll be able to put the tail wheel doors on. But except for the sections that have to do with the hydraulics, this entire assembly, as you can see, is pretty much done. So so let's get to work here. Jake's going to help out. We're going to get this assembly mounted in place, get all the structure there, and then mount the tail wheel and see how it retracts and extends within that compartment. Let's get to work. So we finished uh, cutting and fitting the tail wheel enclosure and finished the rivet line, clico it all together. And the plans say that this is pretty much all we have to do to be able to finish the enclosure, except we did find that the front of the enclosure mitt has um, not much strength. It kind of wobbles there. So um, we're going to try to experiment and see what we can do to stiffen that up. Um, we have one idea that we can uh, 
put a, a half hat on the top and a half hat on the bottom and it's kind of sandwich them together with rivets um, and try to stiffen that up. So let's experiment with that. All right, so one of the challenges when you powder coat something like the fuselage frame here is powder coated is that uh, it's hard sometimes to protect all of the holes from getting a little powder coating in them. And um, we need to clear these out in order to mount the tail wheel or at least one of the components of the tail wheel. Now, a really good tool to have in a shop is a reamer, a uh, much, much more precise instrument than a drill bit is. And by taking a reamer and going across this, we can actually slide it backwards through because it's not, uh, has no flutes on the backside. And reamers are so sharp uh, and made of uh, high carbon, uh, uh, really hardened steel that I can actually bring this in and twist it by hand and slowly cut the hole that I need to the right size. And I can even do that by hand because the reamer is so precise. So I'm doing it here, working it across. You just have to be careful not to cut your fingers when you do this too, because it is really, really sharp. 
but it works very, very well. And then I can actually do the same thing going the other way and it'll maintain that alignment. So I'm going to push it back through here and precisely, precisely the size that we need. All right, so thanks to some great work by Jake, we have the tailwheel enclosure now complete and we have mounted the tailwheel itself. Now, we haven't hooked up the hydraulics, but we can already see how this mechanism works and that if we pull this over center lock back, this will go up, the tailwheel will go up into the enclosure and then of course, returning it back down, boom, locks right into place. And so it's a really exciting step that's now done in the build. And next we can get on to the other parts, which will include having the rudder cables go through that will eventually attach to it and give us tailwheel steering. So that's it for this stage of our T51 Mustang build. Be sure to check out socialflight.com if you haven't already. Socialflight.com and the Social Flight mobile apps, completely free, and they have tens of thousands of aviation events, destinations, and of course, $100 hamburgers, places that you can fly for airport restaurants. Very, very cool stuff and lots of chances to win. All you need to do is fly and our partners are giving away avionics and headsets and all sorts of cool things. And of course, if you follow us, you may also get one of these T51 Mustang D uh, t-shirts uh, for yourself. So again, for Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon. Thank you again for staying with us. Blue skies.